mean for me personally? I mean, I step it every day. It's it's because God's given me this opportunity to do this, right? And that's really like that's like the basis and the foundation of everything. And then these fans, right? I mean, they're special, right? They really are special. They they really are like they're genuine, right? It's they love the club. They genuinely love the club and the players, right? First time out, some guys, you know, some you know, Ethan, right, who didn't see a lot of minutes in Nisa last year, got eight, 75, 80 minutes, right? Logan came through open tryouts, right? So you can, Milo playing at left wing, right? Not too much of a stretch for Milo because he's kind of played all over the place with his career, but but still, right? I mean, and we had stretches where we were under pressure and we didn't break, we bent, and then we came back and we fought and we worked and, uh, you know, it's can't complain, right? And like you're saying, you took the lead two occasions, very competitive game. I mean, what kind of statement did you see y'all made today? Well, I think we announced ourselves in the sense of we announced ourselves, hey, you know, a team coming from a lower league, they're here to fight and see what happens, right? Not not sitting here saying that we're here to fight to, uh, we're going to be the team that's hosting the trophy at the end of the year, but they know that we're, like, here to play football and to really, like, um, do what we can do to, to make sure that we make the club proud, we make the city proud, we make the league proud, uh, make the fans proud, and that's that's our goal. And the end result, hopefully, is that we, we have an exceptional season. And whatever that looks like, that's what it looks like, but we want to have an exceptional season. And then, you know, overall, it's, it's just a, it was a tough battle, right, from beginning to end, toe-to-toe. Um, -to -toe. How pleased were you with the team, specifically talking about the starters, let's, let's start there just made, making some adjustments, you know, and some guys who were maybe in some unfamiliar places. Just how pleased were you with how they adapted and just the character that was showed? We built the team, hopefully with depth, that when these kind of circumstances happens, that players will step up and play. And um, we're happy about that. We're happy about guys like Ethan, like I said, right? Logan, to get those minutes, right? I think it's, uh, I think it's real important. And to play against the team, right? That, in a lot of ways, it's similar to us, right? They're not independent totally, but they're trying to build something. And if we can zone zone in on Ethan a little bit here, I'd like to because you know, just re-signed signed that contract just a couple of weeks ago. You know, the injury issues last year. Just what for him to start in that position, you know, sort of as a nine, false nine sort of position. Yeah. And play the minutes that he did. You know, how just what can you say about how he adjusted out there today? Yeah, I think that look. Ethan's here because he's a good human being. He's a good man. And he has leadership qualities. And those are like, he's a good character, he's a good character. And that's why Ethan's here and he's a hard worker. And um, look, Ethan's played everywhere for us almost. He played, he started that center back against Atlanta United last year, right? Then he played in the midfield and now he played up front. Ethan just shows up because he wants to be a pro. And so we have a lot of respect for him. And then we can also speak about another individual, Logan Logan Brown, starting starting the match, starting the MLS Next Pro debut game for the club. Two you know two months ago he was an open trialist on a you know 15 degree day, that kind of thing. So what 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 do you say about his character and what he showed out there as well? Look, I mean he came to the open tryout. We invited him to the invite combine. We invited him to, to preseason. Um, you know, he was literally with us, I would say, six weeks before we even offered him a contract. And so for him to battle through six weeks, uncertainty, not knowing, the character's top notch, right? Ter character's top notch. And we had, um, you know, Mehdi coming in, Callum subbing in, Duvon. So a sign of things to come, guys, some guys that are new to the team, getting a few minutes, you know, how, how important that is that to the, their ad adaptation and the whole team as well? Yeah, I mean, that's it, right? I mean, again, it's about what we tried to build, what we tried to build, right? We tried to build a, a team that has depth, that has thinkers and or cerebral and have insight and understanding to the game. And that's really what we um, what we were all about. And I'm, I'm pleased with them. I mean, we were hoping that we would get through the game and not have to insert them, you know, but we did. And, you know, they, they stepped up, so. And then let's talk about the penalties. You know, how, how pleased are you with... with how the team performed, especially considering the context of how you know, last year ended as well. Yeah, that was that was real important. Chris and I talked about that at the, at the end. It's like, yeah, you know, how it ended last year, losing in penalties, 
this is a big day for us just because we know that um, well we hope this doesn't happen again <laughs> but with the way the league is structured there's a potential that will happen again yeah. and then um, let's just let's go ahead and it, you know we have to look ahead to Tuesday because it's going to be here before we do it I mean how do you manage like, such a quick turnaround with the team but what, what do these days look like yeah it's just rest and recovery rest and recovery and, and it's the mental aspect of it get the mental aspect of it right and then get the physical aspect of it right and I think we'll be okay and then lastly you know US Open Cup can you talk to us a little bit about what that means to you and, and what the, the significance is to this club? Yeah, I mean, as a player, I played in it, right? I mean, I, th I want to say in 92, we might have made the semifinals or somewhere along those lines with one of my teams. I can't really, you can probably find it, but I don't remember. But um, the, the Open Cup is really important, right? It gives, it's another, it's another opportunity, another tournament to hopefully unify our country for football. And that's really what it's about. And it's about to giving teams that are just organically built and really don't have the money, but they love football, they love their community, and they want to play. And that's really, I think it's really a, a tournament that needs to be celebrated, right? It needs, it needs to be celebrated. I mean, do the, are there things that could be better, but life could be better, right? So I'm not going to sit here and nitpick. I'm going to say that, generally speaking, I mean, it, it, I think it's an important tournament. It's definitely an important tournament for lower-level teams, right? I, I, I get it, right? When we have to travel to a smaller team and certain things aren't the way we would like them, I'm not discrediting that, but at the end of the day, the tournament is really important for the country.